But it said that the Lord would scatter them among the heathen, among all the nations. And that's what happened. Alright, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay. Leviticus 26 14. It says, But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye will break my covenant. Which that's what Israel did. Deuteronomy 27 and 26. It says, Curse be he that confirmeth not all these all the words of this law to do them. And all the people said Amen. Alright? So the children of Israel said they was going to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, but they broke them. So the Lord, through the Spirit, through the Spirit of the Lord, alright, which his name is Yahweh, alright, he spoke through Moses and told them that they was going to be disobedient. And if they be disobedient, these curses was going to fall on them. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 18. It says, Let there Lest there should be among you man or woman or family or tribe whose heart turneth away this day from the Lord our power to go and serve the gods of these nations, lest, lest there should be among you a root that beareth gall and wormwood. And it come to pass when he heareth the words of this curse, that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the imagination of my heart to add drunkenness to thirst. The Lord will not spare him but then the anger of the Lord and his jealousy shall smoke against that man and, sh and all the curses that are written in this book in Deuteronomy shall lie upon him and the Lord shall blot out his name from under heaven okay alright and that's what happened to the tribes the Lord took away our name alright the remembrance of Israel and we was scattered amongst these nations all right let me get that real quick all right deuteronomy 32 and 26 it says i said i would scatter them into corners the lord said he was going to scatter the nation of israel the 12 tribes not only judah but the rest of the tribes into corners talking about in, in the four corners of the earth I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men okay so when the Lord scattered us the twelve tribes he made the remembrance of us what us being whatever particular tribe we come from Judah Benjamin Levi Simeon Ephraim Manasseh Gad Reuben uh, Naphtali Asher uh, Levi, Issachar, Zebulon, all right, Benjamin, all right, he was going to make those names that was upon us, that was given to us, all right, he was going to make that cease, fulfilling prophecy, okay, Jeremiah 17 and 4, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, all right, and our heritage it's the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Okay. All right. And even though this simple ass nigga don't like dealing with the apocrypha, the apocrypha is part of the Bible. All right. Which anybody listening to that dude, they need to, they need to be, they need to be put to death, man. Because that dude is, he's a reprobate. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 24, 23. It says, all these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage unto the congregation of Jacob. Okay. So so the Bible, alright, the whole book, King James 1611, alright, that's our heritage. And we discontinued from it when we got scattered into the four corners, alright. And the Lord had made a remembrance of us, which is in the scriptures, to cease. Why? 
to fulfill prophecy. All right. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Okay. That's right. Okay, this is um back to Deuteronomy 32, 26. I said, I will scatter them into the corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. You can't get around that, man. All right. And side note for this simple ass nigga. All right. That's why Esau was trying so hard to destroy the heritage or the customs or the way of life amongst the so-called North American Indians. All right. Because they knew that the language that the Native Americans spoke rope all right was hebrew they call it block hebrew they, they wrote in uh, uh what what they call paleo hebrew which is the word paleo just mean ancient so it's ancient hebrew the languages they spoke were dialects of hebrew the they wore fringes okay which is only the dress code of israelites get there real quick all right not trying to divert too far off the topic, but we pull this out because this dude he done he's a he's a fucking clown, man. No Zulus is wearing no damn fringes. Okay, they wore straw shit. Okay. Native Americans had fringes on their garment. They still wear it today when they be in powwows doing the dances. Simple ass nigga, man. This is numbers. 15 and 37 and the Lord spake unto Moses saying speak unto the children of Israel the 12 tribes and bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe the borders a ribbon of blue and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a whoring, that ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your power. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt to be a power. I am the Lord your power. All right. Was it Deuteronomy 22 and 8? I mean 22 and 12. It says, Thou shalt make the fringes upon the four corners of thy vesture wherewith thou coverest thyself. And the Native Americans kept that. Okay? As well as the the so-called Hispanic tribes down in South America as well as Mexicans. So that's a cut on you simple ass nigga. Okay? Fuck some Zulus. Zulus was not wearing no damn fringes. They wearing that hay shit, man. Okay? And they ain't the tribe of Gat. They're a bunch of goddamn heathens, man. Okay? the hell with some goddamn Zulus, man. Alright? That's why they, that's why you don't see Gadites wearing Gadite garments. Or North American Indians wearing North American Indian, Indian garments. Alright? As part of their heritage. Because it was taken away from them. Okay? By the so-called white men. Okay? That's why they speak. Some of them speak French. Some of them speak uh, uh, English or Spanish or Dutch or Portuguese and stuff because they was their native tongue was taken from them. You got you got to counsel them going to the boarding school, and and their language was taken from them. That's part of their heritage. Their ability to write the language was taken from them. Okay, all right. Their their history was taken from them. They was taught the white man's ways. Okay, so if they weren't the Israelites, which now is so much evidence coming out about uh, artifacts that they find here in the United States proving that the natives had uh, wrote and spoken in, in those languages and their customs, if anybody read the scriptures and obviously looked at them, they would know that they was the children of Israel, not no fucking Hamites, not no goddamn Zulus. So